Hello and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard and in today's tip show, I'm going to teach you all about Mapstra. Mapstra is a service and iOS application which allows you to put pins on a digital map. Now these pins can have tags and of course, the most important part, a location, allowing you to collect the locations that you want in the way that you want. Let's start with Mapstra on my iPhone. This is Mapstra on my iPhone. I'm just gonna go ahead and open the app and let's start with the tutorial. As you can see, Mapstra tells us a little bit about itself, telling us that we can save places, create tags, and even share with our friends. Finally, we have the option to create an account or we can connect. I'll tap on the connect options first. And here we have three choices. We can sign in with Apple, sign in with Facebook or sign in with email. Now, if we don't have an account, there is a handy link here to sign up. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the option to sign up with Apple. Now here, it shows me what name I'm sharing with Mapstra. And if I go ahead and tap on this cross, I could go ahead and change this. If I just tap done here, then it goes back to the original options. I can also use my email address or I can hide my email address. And this is all set up through sign in with Apple. I'm going to choose to hide my email address and just click continue. Now my iPhone authorizes me with face ID and voila, I'm logged in. Next up, I need to grant Mapstra location permission. As Mapstra is of course a map-based application, it would like to know where you are. And one of the reasons for this is to be able to show you your pins based on their distance from you. I'm gonna go ahead and just tap okay. Now I've got the standard iOS permission dialog and I'm going to allow my location while using the app. So let's go ahead and tap on the plus to add a location. Now here I have the option of adding three things. I can add a place, add a map, or add a friend. I actually want to add a place, so I'm gonna go ahead and just tap on this. And now I can go ahead and search for that place. Now, if it's the name of something, for example, the Eiffel Tower, then I can go ahead and just type that in. But say for example, you wanted to add a Papa John's pizza, then it's probably going to find lots of options. And for that, you could type in the address. You have the option to go ahead and search by name, address, or even map coordinates if you have them. In this case, it has found the Eiffel Tower for me at 5 Avenue Anatole in France, in Paris to be precise. And if I go ahead and tap on this, then after it's identified it, it will allow me to go ahead and add a little bit more detail to this particular pin. So every pin has a name, an address, an icon, and tags. In the top left, I have the option to change the icon, and it's automatically selected a turret, which indicates that it's a point of interest. I'm going to leave this as it is, but you can see there are categories for sport, services, fun, shopping, food and drink, and more. And if I just tap this back button, then I'll leave it as it is. If I tap on the title, I could go ahead and change that and the same with the address. Next, I need to choose at least one tag. And here underneath, I have five predefined tags that Mapstra has already given me. Now, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new tag. And right here at the bottom, it's showing me the tag name. I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard here, which is why the field is right at the bottom of my screen. I'm going to add a tag called to visit. And if I just press enter, it will automatically add this. Now I have a tag, it's prompting me to go ahead and save it. But before I do that, I'm just going to tap more options. Under more options, I have the ability to add a comment. And these are my own personal notes. I can also see the phone number and the website. And once again, tapping on these will allow me to edit them. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. 
you can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone. And even your Apple TV using the Members Only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine. Published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.